Hi, I'm Dylan McCullough from Kelowna Now, and today I'm with Bruce Cook. Um, we're here in the Kelowna Now offices. Welcome, man. Hey, thanks. Thanks for doing thanks for this. Um, so you're from Kelowna, but uh, Freestyle Motocross is taking you around the world. Um, but maybe tell me a bit about how you got started in the Okanagan region. Um, yeah, I mean, it basically started, I got my first dirt bike when I was about five years old, and um, you know, just around the farm, my parents have acreage off of, up off of Sexsmith, so um, had uh, you know, land to cruise around on that thing, and then it just uh, kind of natural progression, bigger bike, a little bit bigger jumps, and then uh, grew up kind of looking up to my now good friend Chris Garwaziak, and my sisters went to school with him, and uh, he was into freestyle motocross, he was, you know, at the first X Games, Gravity Games, and whatever, so... Um, you know, obviously a huge inspiration for me and, uh, that was kind of my in to freestyle motocross was, you know, I, uh, set it up so we could come build the, the proper setup at my parents' place. And, you know, that was kind of my way of, uh, being able to ride with him, learn from him and, uh, you know, eventually get onto those ramps. Um, so it's definitely had a big influence in your career, the uh, Okanagan region. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, I mean, this is my perfect playground, uh, you know, with all the seasons and, um, yeah, it's, it's the perfect weather and perfect place to, to do anything outdoors. So, mm -hmm. um, now you suffered um, an injury that would possibly end a lot of people's careers, but you've turned it into a rather inspiring story. Um, could you briefly touch on what happened that day, and then maybe tell us uh, your journey back to actually riding dirt bikes and doing backflips again? Yeah, so it was uh, January third, two thousand fourteen, uh, Nitro Circus show in Hamilton, Ontario, and. Um, I was set to attempt the world first double front flip on a dirt bike, and uh, that obviously didn't go very well. <laughs> uh, under rotated a little bit. Basically, the bike landed vertically. I slid off the back, and um, yeah, just an unfortunate uh, way to hit the ground, fold in half uh, backwards, basically, and um, broke my T11 vertebrae and resulted in a spinal cord injury. So, um, obviously, in the chair, and uh, yeah, it was just since day one um you know you think about what you want your last show to be like and that's definitely not not leaving the stadium on a stretcher so that was always the big one um you know i just wanted to get back on the bike at least once and uh you know for me getting back on the bike means going upside down so since day one in the hospital it was just that was my goal and that probably helped actually with the recovery and physio and everything was just having that big goal in mind to, to get back on the bike so um it helped that uh, one of my best friends is a fabricator, so he was already, you know, while I was still in hospital, he was working on the bike and, and the cage kind of thing for the bike. And uh, yeah, it was nine months after injury. Um, I was confident and, and uh, had gained enough strength and everything had healed. So that nine months after was my first ride on the bike. And then uh, a month after that, I landed the first backflip. Um, which was a world record yep. in itself. Yep. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, was, yeah, first paraplegic backflip, and then, uh, yeah, I wanted to take that back into show. Mm -hmm. And uh, my first show back was in Toronto, which was cool because it's an hour down the road from where the accident happened. So, the, the the arena was packed with all the same people that were there that night, and it was a surprise. You know, I didn't announce that I was going to do it. And, uh, yeah, that couldn't have gone any better. And that was my kind of return to Nitro Circus was... Um, I think it was about a year and a half later and uh, an hour down the road from where the mm -hmm. crash happened. So it was, it was pretty cool. Um, they mentioned the stadium was packed, which I'm not surprised at all. Nitro <laughs> Circus is like this bigger than life thing. Travis Pastrana, you know, you guys are like rock stars out there. Can you maybe tell me a bit about how you go from uh, growing up in Kelowna riding bikes to being on a world tour uh, riding bikes in Nitro Circus? And then just tell me like what it's like to uh, to do something like that, to be part of that crew. Yeah, it's, um, I mean, it's just kind of putting in the effort. It's just, you know, hammering out day after day, you know, while I was working, riding, training, and I uh, got on a tour in Mexico in about, I think, 2008, and uh, if you know, uh, Jolene Van View is uh, one of the original Nitro Circus members, and I was on tour with her brother, Billy, and uh, that's kind of how that connection started, so, um, you know, made good friends with him, and then learned that he was going down to Travis's to train with Jolene and um, I basically just kind of mooched my way in and I, I wanted to learn how to backflip at that time and I knew Travis had the foam pit so it was basically just uh, through Billy, through Jolene and that's how I met Travis and, and the rest of the crew and super inviting and uh, you know basically opened his place to me to learn how to flip and um, yeah just uh, he's, he's always been amazing with that type of thing and uh, you know use the foam pit for X Games practice and yeah he just saw the, the commitment that I had to the sport basically and, and progressing so it's uh it's always been a pretty good match with the whole Nitro crew. 
That's amazing. Um, you mentioned Travis Pastrana. He's like this bigger than life, gnarly, yeah. you know, <laughs> dude. What, what's he like in real life? Um, basically, with Travis, it's what you see is what you get on mm-hmm. camera. He's just over the top, always energy, always pushing the limits and progressing. And, um, you know, there's always a million ideas in his head of, of what's next. And you know, it's the same for me. There's always something brewing up there. So, um, yeah, it's just a, a super inspiring motivating person to be around and always looked up to him so it's it's pretty cool to be able to uh, you know work with him on a daily basis awesome um you mentioned what's next um big show coming to Kelowna this summer it's actually in the apple bowl um no roof yeah (laughs) dirt bikes will be flying high that's pretty cool um i've never heard anything like that happening at the apple bowl specifically um tell us a bit about the show people can expect this summer yeah, so like you said, it's it's outdoors this tour, and it's actually the first time we've ever toured with these ramps. Uh, they're brand new; they're 15 feet tall, whereas the normal ones are about eight feet tall. Uh, landings are 23 feet tall and should hit heights about 60 feet. So uh, obviously, you literally can't even fit in a normal arena with this show. So um, it's going to be gnarly. Yeah, it's it's crazy. There's double backflips are the norm on these ramps and uh you're throwing in combinations you know tricks that most people can't do upright you're throwing into a double backflip and whatnot and front flips and contraptions which is basically anything we can strap a motor to and send off the ramps uh that's kind of the fun part of the show so um yeah it's it's gonna i'm excited to see this show Mm because no one's ever seen it we've never toured with this show before so it's i'm definitely looking forward to it that's awesome well hey we're excited i'm sure we'll be visiting um around that time and uh thanks for doing this today thanks so much thanks for having me